Hi church family, Cecil Sanders here with you on a beautiful Monday. However, most of you know that last night, Sunday night wasn't so beautiful. In the late hours uh, last night, uh, some terrible storms rolled through Henry County and many of our church family members and, and other dear friends in, in the county suffered some, some big hits, some big losses. Uh, loss of homes and loss of vehicles and campers and businesses and in one instance a, a gentleman lost his life. It was a difficult, difficult, difficult night. We think about uh, this storm that comes through and we, we're reminded that uh, we have an opportunity to have a testimony. I talked with several of our church family members and one of the gentlemen who lost his home uh, was relaying this. He said, Brother Cecil, I feel so blessed and I'm just so inspired when this, this gentleman said this to me. He's telling me he's blessed and he's just lost his home. He said, yeah, it could have been so much worse. Uh, we just feel so blessed to be alive and unhurt. We, we may have lost most everything, but God has been so good to us. And everybody else I talked to was just praising God for His mercy on their behalf. You know, it, it reminds us of, of the scriptures where uh, David is writing, and uh, he, he writes about uh, finding refuge in, 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 in under the wings of the Lord. Let me share with you Psalm 91. Uh, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. It is He who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He covers you with His pinions and you find shelter under His wings. His faithfulness is a shield and bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night or the arrow that flies by day. You know, last night it was some terrifying minutes as those storms rolled through. But our church family members were taking refuge in the Lord and He was their shelter. You know, it's interesting, church family, that in this shelter-in-place order that we have because of the virus, uh, our church family members were sheltered in place where they should have been, but even those shelters took some, some real hits and some real loss. And we know that man-made shelters and earthly shelters, they can and do fail. But the ultimate shelter, the Lord Himself, will never fail us. You know, the, the great reformer, Martin Luther, put these thoughts in his great hymn. He said, A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Our helper he amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. Let goods and kindreds go, this mortal life also. The body they may kill, God's truth abideth still. His kingdom is forever. So we praise God that, that our church family members found shelter under the Lord's wings. And I'm reminded of the passage that Brother Tim shared last week in, in his devotional from Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39, where Paul says, I'm convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, or any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. You see, church family, when we take refuge in the Lord, we are sheltered, safe, and secure. And we have an opportunity for the testimony of God's people to be on display. Already, the attitudes of those who suffered loss, it's on display and it's showing Christ. And then we as a church family are rallying around these others and, and we are showing the world what it means to be the hands and feet of Jesus to those who've suffered loss. So I'll just ask you to pray. Pray for those who've had these losses. Just pray that God's Spirit will continue to comfort them, give them the peace and the wisdom they need as they walk forward, and that their testimony of trust in Christ would be evident. And then would you just be praying for how you can be the hands and feet of Jesus to those who've, who've had these losses, and the church will show the world that Jesus Christ is Lord and that we're safe and secure in Him. Thank you, church family, and just encourage you. Uh, we'll be back here Wednesday for a time of devotion and our prayer time, and then Friday, hymns with Tim, and then again, Sunday morning at nine o'clock, we'll have our, our worship service online. God bless you and have a great day.